Once upon a time, I was reading a little forum of some kind uh, with game developers pretty much talking about some of the biggest challenges in game development. And I think this was something that the forum was basically made up of a lot of programmers. And so on reading it, there was something I discovered that I wanted to go ahead and share with you guys in this video. So welcome to the Video Game Fight School channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. We enjoy talking about DC games, especially Gotham Knights. I do my best to bring you guys Gotham Knights content and if it's something that you feel like doing after the video you can basically join us by subscribing or even hitting the like button just for the support all right so gotham knight has somewhat been pushed a little bit so i have to go back and say we got a push basically in the beginning of this year that it was going to be released in 2022 because the previous promise date for the game to drop was in 2021 now that we're getting into this 2022 timeline and we still haven't gotten a re you know release date uh, and we also already got like you know a huge you know push in terms of delaying the game we can come out to say that there are probably a few reasons as to why now i'm not going to be an alarmist you guys know me i try my best to be as measured as possible i don't want to freak out over something that shouldn't be freaked out about. In fact, I would love to at least stay in a much more moderate side of things so that I don't go necessarily say something that is overly outlandish. Now, the very first thing that you could say could be the issue is they probably were in a place where they didn't feel like they could complete the game in a decent amount of time to release in 2021. And they felt that if they got a few more months, they'll be able to get the game up to speed and then eventually go ahead and, you know, just work their way through, polish, fine tune, and then eventually get the game out perhaps maybe a month or two after they had eventually promised if anything, uh, you know, if things didn't necessarily go as they wanted them to go. So that's number one. Number two, which is just two of the very different possibilities is that major changes overhauls were being made in the systems as the game's development reached a specific point now this second possibility is what really makes up the crux of my video so on reading this forum which i started talking to you guys about i found out that in the game development world something that is really interesting is a lot of the direction that comes from the top of the development chain, and this is not publisher down to developer mandate, this is just from top brass. So people who are maybe in creative director, game de director, game designer positions, sometimes they go ahead and make these changes that take a lot of time to implement downstream. So I was reading this forum and like four developers said one of their biggest frustrations is when the top brass in the game in, in, in the game development studio continues to make changes over and over again, even though they may think these changes are small changes. But when it comes time for them to implement it on the programming side, it could cause a whole bunch of issues. In fact, make the build of the game unstable. And then now they not only have to implement this new change, they then have to make the change work within the pre-existing build of the game. So I thought to myself and I wondered like how long could this even, you know, take? And in some cases, some developers mentioned even timelines of three to six months, in some cases, eight months to implement multiple changes that get made over time. And so in my opinion, I came out to thinking, man, if this is kind of how it goes, then in my mind, if a major change had been made in Gotham Knights after maybe the reveal or maybe somewhere down the road, they were thinking of 2021, but maybe they saw fan reactions, which is something that a lot of people said that fan reactions probably did not necessarily make them comfortable or confident. So they probably decided that they were going to go the route of making some overhauls. This is probably what they would have needed a whole entire year to kind of modify. And that is if number two was the potential scenario. And so this is something that here in the community we've talked about and is one more challenge added on top of the other challenges that we've been talking about in terms of game development. And, you know, to me, as much as a game may get delayed, I feel like there's nothing to be, you know, quite up in a tizzy about. I think, yeah, we're marketing. We can say, sure, this has been done very poorly. But in terms of the game being delayed and then needing time for it to basically finalize, I think we're in a good spot because they always say a delayed game is is actually, you know, is better than um, a broken game by all measures. There's no way any broken game will be better than a delayed game. So that's actually the really cool part. And so right now, I think we just need to continue to stack up these little considerations 
when we're talking about this game. You even put that into the more the more infamous side of Gotham Knights, which I almost always mention. And that is the fact that they're developing this game for like nine different platforms. In fact, <laughs> I've said this before, and a lot of people have been like, whoa, what do you mean nine different platforms? Ladies and gentlemen, the truth is, see, the first date was 2021, and then it, they probably realized, oh no, we probably need to go ahead and make these overhauls in order for these things to happen. Now, like I said about the nine different platforms, if you kind of think about it, you know, you have to deal with this game running on all kinds of different platforms. You have to deal with the game actually running on your old generation, which now it's what we call the old generation. But at the time that Gotham Knights was announced, it was basically still the current generation to a whole lot of people. If you if you go back and if you notice it, you know, a lot of people probably would have thought, oh, I guess you're you're referring to maybe some kind of a, um, you know, maybe some kind of a. Um, console that was back then in the ps4 or P xbox one time and these are the consoles and maybe even the switch the very first uh you know switch that came out and then all the different modifications when you think about all of these put together you know you have yourself a really complex project where you have to confess and say gotham knights is in a place where developmentally if they bring this game out it will probably be one of the most challenging games that has been made in the last few years now outside here for those of us who maybe you know don't necessarily know some of the things that it takes to develop a video game. I know we'll probably recognize it from all the delays, but many people may not necessarily see that except us, the fans. So this is really cool to kind of investigate a lot more. And I think it's something that we have to bring up in every discussion. But largely, I would love to know what it is that you think must have delayed Gotham Knights. Do you think a big change was made or do you think they just were not in a place in development where they felt they could actually bring the game out? I know their announcement mentioned something about them needing a little bit more time. But this is just me just throwing out a theory thinking that, you know, a big change must have actually caused for that extended delay that they actually, you know, went for. Because usually a delay will probably be six months in retrospect sometimes it'll say eight months but this delay so far seems like it's going to stretch for about 12 months or maybe more uh, in order for them to be able to you know go ahead and release this game and this is why i think that they went for this delay because they made a major change or some major changes to the game all right i'll get out of your hair thanks so much for watching the video if you enjoy the content you can basically hit subscribe or like or whatever it is you want to do i really do appreciate you guys' participation but also like i always say leave a comment it's one of the most important things to me thanks for watching peace out